Hi guys, this is Mr. Herbst here, and today's focus is going to be on the function of a flower. The main function of a flower is to attract animals to pollinate the plant and thus reproduce. Um, so we have uh, insects, we have uh, such as bees, we have ants, we have beetles. All those things will land on a flower, probably eat the nectar off of a flower. Um, some of the pollen will get stuck to the animal itself, and then the pollen will transfer to another flower, thus the pollination will have occurred. One thing, uh, one important thing that I want you guys to know out of this video is that there's actually a difference between pollination and fertilization. Pollination simply is the transfer of pollen grain from the anther to the pistil. So right here, in my last video, I talked about this thing right here. That's called an anther. It's part of the stamen. It's part of the. It's the male part of the plant. Um, if we have pollen that goes whoop, right up here and gets stuck on the stigma, that's called pollination. But that does not actually produce a seed or another baby plant. Uh, in order to produce a baby plant, we have to have the pollen go all the way down to the style and then get in touch with an ovule. An ovule is an egg. It's a plant egg, and the ovule will come in contact with the, with the sperm from the pollen and that is called fertilization. So this process right here where we have um, pollen from the anther going up and getting in touch with the stigma, that's called pollination. But once that pollen goes all the way down through the style and gets in touch with the ovule right here, or otherwise known as the egg, that's called fertilization. Fertilization will produce a seed. That seed can be planted and produce a whole new plant. So where do seeds come from? Seeds are uh, enlarged ovules. They are, so right down here I have, uh, each one of these things right here is an ovule. That's, that's an egg, once again. A seed is an enlarged ovule uh, that occurs after fertilization has occurred. Um, seeds are what makes new plants. So you put that seed in the ground and it makes an all new plant. So a little bit more about seeds. Uh, there are some important parts to every seed. First off, we have the seed coat. That is the protective outer layer. So that's this region right here. All of this stuff right here, that's the outermost region of the seed, and that helps to protect the seed um, on its journey to become a whole new plant. Then we have the embryo. That is the growing new plant right here. All of this right here is the growing new plant. We actually, You can actually see that there are actually some structures that you may recognize that, that you would see on a full-grown plant. This right here is leaves. Uh, so this is the this is like a baby plant inside of a seed. You have a little baby plant that is the earliest stage of development for a plant. And then we have the endosperm. That is the food storage for um, that will support the growing embryo. So all of this stuff in here, that is the endosperm. The endosperm is is usually white, uh, which is why most beans are white. Beans are a seed. Um, it's also why popcorn is white. Because when you are popping popcorn, you are exploding the little popcorn kernel, and you are eating the endosperm. So um, the endosperm provides food for the embryo, but in the case of popcorn, can also provide food for us. So let's go ahead and review this thing right here, this outer covering that's called the seed coat. Then this thing right here, all of this is a little baby plant. It's called the embryo. And then all of this stuff in here, all this white stuff, uh, this is food for the plant and that is called the endosperm. Again, when you're eating popcorn, you are eating all of that stuff right in there. Uh, another focus I'd like to talk about here is the purpose of fruits. Uh, why does a plant go through all of the, the problems and, and issues of creating a fruit? This here is a fruit. This is a pomegranate. If you haven't had one of these, you're missing out. But anyway, um, this is a really good fruit. This is an ovary. This, this here, we eat this. This is similar to an apple. Inside of this right here are a bunch of little seeds. Why does the plant go through the process of making all those little seeds? Well, um, think about it. Uh, if I am an animal, I'm going to 
go up to the tree. I'm going to pick it off of the tree. I'm going to eat it. Uh, maybe some will get stuck on my clothes. Maybe some will get stuck in my mouth, some of the seeds. And I'm going to go down the road a little bit, and I'm, some of those seeds are going to fall off, and a whole new plant is going to grow over there. It would be bad if um, a plant was to just drop new seeds right down at the roots. Because then, if we have if we have one plant growing here and another plant growing underneath of it, those two plants are are competing for the same resources. So what plants have evolved to do is develop these really really nice tasting juicy um, ovaries that we will eat, and some of the seeds will get stuck on us, and we will go down the road a little bit, and these will uh, produce a whole new plant, so that those plants don't have to compete for resources.